Elizabeth Lizzie Maggie was born right here in Macomb on Wednesday, May 9, 1866, the year after the Civil War ended. Her father, James K. Maggie, was a newspaper publisher who owned the Macomb Daily Journal among other publications during his career. He was also an abolitionist who became friendly with a young lawyer and politician by the name of Abraham Lincoln, whom he accompanied as the future president traveled around Illinois in the late 1850s debating politics with Stephen Douglas. But perhaps the most interesting fact about Lizzie Maggie is that she is credited with the invention of one of the most influential and popular board games of all time, Monopoly. The earliest known version of Monopoly was The Landlord's Game, which Elizabeth Maggie designed and first patented in 1904, but had existed as early as 1902. The seeds of the Monopoly game were planted when James Maggie shared with his daughter a copy of Henry George's best-selling anti-monopolist book, Progress and Poverty. In the early 1880s, Lizzie spent time drawing and redrawing a game that she wanted to be based on the theories of Henry George. Maggie's game featured a path that allowed players to circle the board, in contrast to the linear path design used by many games at the time. The plot of the board game is surprisingly similar to that of Macomb's downtown square. In one corner were the poorhouse and the public park, and across the board was the jail. Macomb's jail, incidentally, was, at that time, in one of the square's corners. Also included on the board were three words that have endured for more than a century after Lizzie scrawled them there. Go to jail. She called her creation the Landlord's Game, and in 1903 filed a legal claim for the game, more than three decades before Parker Brothers began manufacturing Monopoly. It was a version of this game, the Landlord's Game, years later, that Charles Darrow was taught by a friend, played, and eventually sold to Parker Brothers under the name of Monopoly. In its effort to seize total control of Monopoly and other related games, Parker Brothers struck a deal with Maggie to purchase her Landlord Games patent not long after it had made its deal with Darrow. While Darrow made millions and received royalties, Maggie's income for her creation was reported to be a mere $500. Neither Parker Brothers, Darrow, nor Lizzie could have known that Monopoly would not be just a mere hit, but arguably the most popular board game in the world and a perennial bestseller for generations. The Lizzie Maggie Monopoly Committee is working through Macomb Area Convention and Visitors Bureau's unforgettable Forgottonia to set the record straight. Today, each interest of the city has signs signifying Macomb as the birthplace of Elizabeth Maggie, inventor of Monopoly. The committee is currently working with Visit Forgottonia's Permanent Attractions Initiative to transform our historic downtown square into a proper reflection of Lizzie's inspiration. For more on Lizzie Maggie and what else is happening in Forgottonia, go to www.visitforgottonia.com.